Hello and welcome everyone, Swiss Experiments here. Uh, today we got a new um, thing in the mail. It's the Tesla wall connector and we're going to be unboxing it, uh, checking it out and perhaps putting it together on a single phase to see how it works. Uh, I'm going to have an electrician come here and install it on the wall uh, with a three phase connector uh, tomorrow, but I thought I'd go through it beforehand on my own. Uh, to just show it out to you and perhaps in this video or in the next one I'm gonna be including the installation that the electrician goes through uh, with me so stay tuned subscribe like if you want to uh, see that happen so let's take a look when you open it up it's sur surprisingly in the wrong direction but um, yeah here we have the Tesla wall connector uh, wall charger and it says thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy um, all right um, so that's the package itself it doesn't really have a lot it's not bulky which is what I'd expect so that's the device let me try and get it out from here. I on, I'm only using one hand because I'm holding the phone with the other one. So let's see if I can do it without breaking anything. Let's just set it down here real smooth. There we go. And pull this cardboard out. So we've got the screws and I think the hat screwdriver, there we go. And this is the base where you're gonna, this one is the one you're gonna be attaching to the wall. And then the rest of it, like this thing is gonna just sit on top of it. Like it's gonna plug in it. So this is gonna go here like that. And all you really have to do is connect the phases over here. This is the Euro European version. Uh, so it comes with, let me set it down for a second, the three phase, it can go up to 400 volts. Uh, you got, well, L1, 2, and 3, neutral, and then the grounding over here. Uh, and this is where uh, the rest of the charger attaches to. Um, the wires can come in from either here or here. Let me go ahead and um, get my very insane cable over here that I made uh, plugged in and um, we'll go from there one second all right there we go uh, so we got the neutral we got the line one phase and then we got the grounding over here um, the holes in here are kind of big I don't know if you can actually tell and the screws are too, that's because, I mean, they're made for um, rather large wires uh, that can carry a lot of power. Uh, we're talking about 11 kilowatts for the Model 3 and Model Y, I believe, and up to 16 kilowatts for the S and X. Uh, so yeah, um, that's, that's quite some power. You can't do uh, that much power on a th single phase, but you can definitely do it with a three phase uh, line. Um, anyways, we got that uh, wired up. Now we would have to, I guess, unpackage this thing. Oh, that's a fat wire. I think it's a six meters cable. So this thing, basically, let's just sit and sit it here. We don't really need to play crazy games. Uh, take that and then set it down here. And then I can probably just flip it over and plug it in. Just like that. 
And there's only one way it can go in, either way. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the screws over here and close it up. So give me one second. All right, we did it. It took a little bit more effort than I thought, because these screws are, I don't know, they feel like they're a little bit too short. Anyways, uh, we got them tightened up. And, um, well, this is not really secure. You should really have a cap. It does not come included, so um, you're going to have to buy it um, separately. However, uh, I don't worry about that because this is, this is just a test for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cable from here, the extension cord, and run it inside. <laughs> And let's plug it in, see what happens. Shouldn't blow up, right? All right. Kind of hard to do it one-handed, but I'll figure it out. Comment down below, is it gonna work or am I gonna blow up here? Let's see. Can I... There we go. And it's plugged in. And we get lights. Look at that. Great. And it's a single green light. So, okay, multiple green lights. I'll take that. And now that. Okay, so we're gonna give it a few minutes to boot up and then uh, we're gonna come back with a computer to see what's good. All right, here we are. And uh, as you may see, uh, the wall connector is now stuck right there with a red LED. And that's probably because it's not configured yet. So taking a look at, at my computer, I see there's a Tesla wall connector Wi-Fi uh, which is indeed the one that I, well, we just installed. And um, just give me a moment. I'll, I'm going to have to put in the password, uh, which is kind of long. And uh, I'll be right back. All right. We connected to it. And now we're going to have to open up the browser. There we go. So, perfect. We actually have the information over here regarding the line, uh, and that's good. There's a difference between neutral and earth. I hope that's fine for the installation. Um, now, let's see if we can go through with it. I know that my um, single phase breaker is on a 12 amps uh, setting, so I'm going to just input 10. The ground monitor interrupter monitors the wall connector ground connection. Select the that should be enabled, I believe. Uh, let's give it a try because it's a TN network. And let's hit save and see what happens. In fact, the ground resistance has changed to below one kilo ohm. I don't know if that's good or not yet. We'll figure it out. Um, that's connected to the Wi-Fi just in case there's an update. And uh, one second. All right, we got the Wi-Fi connection. Let's go back. It needs to update, and I think I'm going to do that before uh, we do anything else. So let's do that. All right. 
So we got to the most recent version, 22.33. Um, let's go back. Everything, everything seems fine now. We can go to access control and make it charge Teslas on these or all vehicles. Like for example, if I were to do this, it, okay, that's interesting. I thought it would somehow give me the option to uh, limit it to my own Tesla. However, that's, that could probably be done later on. So here's the power sharing section as well. So you can add up to six devices and to this on the same like line and the power power connector uh, the wall connector is going to be uh, managing the power output to the various cars so you don't really have to do anything you don't have to I don't know calculate it yourself we don't need that okay I think I think it's ready to go and in fact right now the light is no longer red it's just green so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this downstairs and I'm gonna try and plug it in in my Tesla and see what happens all right here we go we got our Tesla over here and I already plugged it in because one-handed is like not easy at all okay the light is green I don't know if it already booted up but hey let's go ahead take the charger yeah this is nice you can just tap it there we go it opens up and plug it in blinking heard clicking and it's charging over here we got the flowing LEDs and a small humming very quiet Let's check it inside. And it is charging. Hold on a second. There we go. 10 out of 10 amps. Great. So it's working fine. And tomorrow I'm gonna have the electrician uh, plug it in, I mean, put it up there on a three phase connector. And so I'm gonna be able to charge it uh, 10 kilo, 11 kilowatts instead of just two. Great. Let's wrap this up. And there we go. I took it apart again. Uh, very simple. Because, uh, well, tomorrow I'm gonna be connecting it using three phases. Um, that's about it I think uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope this kind of helped uh, showcasing uh, the wall charger here in Europe because it's a little bit different compared to the US one and if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date with my new content that's gonna be coming out in the future uh, regarding Tesla's and much more um, until next time, bye-bye.